What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another Deadpool Party Reaction video. And uh, let's check out some fine bros. Yeah, fine brothers. Uh, teens react to Try Me, Bitch. Uh, <laughs> Vines compilation. Oh, God, I've seen that little clip of the Try Me, Bitch. I don't know where that's from. If y'all can send me the like the original of what that came from, you know, because I was looking for it. Like, what's the, what, where did that come from? But I just seen, like, it, it in the Vines. You know, cut with other stuff, and that was it was so damn funny. But uh, yeah, <laughs> if you can send me the link to the original, I appreciate that. I might react to that. But let's check this out. Uh, let's see what the teens think about it. <laughs> now I haven't seen the uh, compilation, uh, so I guess what they have more with the try me, bitch. <laughs> uh, let's check it out. Candy back, I'm not buying you Just all that mess. Oh, try me, try bitch. Me, bitch. Oh, try me, bitch. <laughs> oh, so somebody <laughs> had some candy with a little key? Yeah, it was on Vine. Another Vine trend? I don't care. Here you go. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, try me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. Because it is, man. It's funny, man. Oh, try me, bitch. <laughs> it looks like it's fake. Like a, like a TV show. <laughs> try me, bitch. And it's plus, try me, bitch. I don't know. She's got home alone. <laughs> That's so, so weird to hear him say, try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. I can't get behind it, guys. This never gets old. Hey, you girls generation. Put it down another way. Oh. Damn. Try me, bitch. Well played. This is why I love the internet, I swear. Hey, Terry, you want some? <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> try me, bitch. Yeet. But there was nothing clever about that. She just threw something. Oh, God, no, they can just put this with anything, can't they? I haven't seen any of these. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God. Yeah. What? Oh. Not the baby. Oh. <laughs> just the bitch. bad graphics of the, the, the thing. <laughs> yeah, just a little cheap graphics. Oh, my God. Just, not this one. Oh. Try me, bitch. I like that one. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Try me, bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, bitch. Just so never cool. more than five original jokes and then five thousand copies. I want to know if this guy's an actor or if he's like, if this is just that was his reaction to someone throwing that at him. <laughs> they need to like save those. Cause he's like a celebrity now, probably. No. The try me, bitch, man. So, what did we show you here overall? Pure internet videos. Fines of just a guy saying. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. <laughs> try me, bitch. <laughs> try me, bitch. I don't know his name. I don't know what they call him. The tr we'll call him the try me, bitch guy. And had you ever seen the meme before? No. I was not aware of that meme. Nope. It's stupid, just like all the other memes. No. Actually, I'm surprised I haven't. Yeah, I, I didn't realize there were so many. Yeah, he's like, uh, he's going around on Vine right now. It's the exact same thing as every other Vine trend where they find one little tiny meme that is mildly funny and then they beat the crap out of it. Do you like the it's trends true. like this where people will find clever ways to use the same footage? It was funny at first, but now I'm just sort of like annoyed with it. Yeah, until they're played out. I like certain ones when it's very self-referential and meta. It's hard to keep my attention for very long. I have a short attention span. It just brings me a lot of joy and happiness. You see the original Vine, you're like, okay, like this is kind of funny. And then you see all the edits and, re uh, and redos and you're just like, this, this is a great thing. I like it because it's one of like the least gatekept things that we have in our society. It's just the idea that we can make something go viral and it's just someone in their bedroom making a clip of something they find funny. It kind of weirds me out because I know it's in middle school and elementary school as well, so it's it's really weird to be laughing at the same thing that a, a sixth grader is laughing at. My friends are into the same exact things and I like to think that we're above these children but really we're at the same level. So for teenagers, would you say that Vine Trends is something that is frequently talked about? I mean, yeah. It's kind of all we do. Just memes all day. At my school, everyone's thinking of new ideas that they could do. It's everywhere, like on every social media platform. My Spanish teacher goes, ¿Qué son esos? Or what are those? 
rather oh. than someone having a full-on conversation about the try me bitch guy you'll just hear someone in the back of the class like try me bitch so at this point you could say this is a new genre of entertainment because there's so many of these where you binge watch these types of trends that's so weird i didn't think of it like that Whoa. It's kind of weird to think that it's like a new thing, but it is. If there was just a TV show of like a 30 minute segment of just all these vines of the same exact thing, would it be popular, do you think? So what is it that is so entertaining about seeing the same thing presented in different ways? Repetition is interesting, and if it's funny, it gets funnier. They don't want to have to think too hard a lot of the time, and that's what Vine is, is not thinking too hard. If you're already in on a joke, you can watch it over and over again and be like, oh, it's this again. I understand this. I love it. What's interesting with a lot of these Vine trends is they take on such a life of their own and there's so many made that it's very difficult to ever track where it actually started. Yeah, no, that definitely happens. Not only does that happen, but people steal things too. Like someone will post it and then you'll see common girl post, white girl post. They always just steal each other's posts and then like add their watermark to it. And it's like, whose is this? So do you have any idea who made this trend? I have no idea who started this. I have no idea. Well, his name is Brandon Rogers, who has a YouTube channel that has a little over 100,000 subscribers, and this clip comes from a longer sketch he made on his channel eight months ago. Oh, it's so interesting how long it takes for people to find so this. So it's a sketch. Somebody so else just, took the clip real. and posted it on Vine, and that started the trend. Wow. Stealing credit. Well, that's the internet for you. So his channel has gotten more right. popular, but it didn't initially see a huge increase in viewership despite how big the trend got. People take making fame through other people's fame. Just. Sometimes it's just not fair. It's not fair, but it's just like you can't stop it. It's unfortunate, but uh, life's a bitch. <laughs> I don't know what to tell them. If you want to take parts of videos and turn them into whatever, that's cool. You have to give them credit, though. You have to be like, original video by blah, blah, blah. That's mean. That's true. Don't do that. Don't steal people's stuff and not credit them. If I can't do it on my essays, you shouldn't be able to do it online. Woo! <laughs> so for the end of the episode, do you want to check out the original video from Brandon? Yes, please. Yes, I do. Because I, he needs some credit. <laughs> I bet you it's going to be not as funny. Oh, no. <laughs> so this sketch is called Grandpa Hates Valentines. <laughs> okay. okay. <sighs> what the f*** is all of this? Oh, I thought this was like a real life video. I didn't realize it was actually pulled straight from the sketch. Ah, uh, uh, goddammit, boy, why you gotta play with the dog's ass? You got an <laughs> iPhone. Fuck you playing with that dog's ass, <laughs> What? Look at that dog's ass. That's my grandparents. Last week I got mugged by a goddamn ballerina. She tried to make me pass away. What? Then the bitch spun away. <laughs> Look at that, their logo is what? An ass <laughs> It's too tight. Never looking at Walmart this day. Oh, this might be Supreme on the talk to me. Pull up your I don't know what's ass. happening, but I like it. I don't want this anymore. Put that candy back, I'm not buying you all that mess. There it is. Try me, bitch. There we oh, go. No. It's funnier in that context. <laughs> I need a farmer for What the? <laughs> I lost <laughs> my heart many times. I never knew it. I so never knew this is where it came from. Damn flowers. You know I'm allergic. Want me to see Jesus? I just loaded my pamper. These damn flowers. You could stick these flowers, you know where. As. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. He definitely deserves more than one vine. I want to subscribe to him now. Why is he not getting credit for this? <laughs> this is funny! I'm actually crying a little bit because I was laughing so hard. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. Oh, try me, bitch. Be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every single week. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, try me, bitch. <laughs> try me, bitch. Oh God! Well, look, Fire Bros. I'm giving y'all credit right now. Look, that's that's y'all video. I just reacted to it. Yeah, just I reacted to the reaction of the teams. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I did not know that was a sketch. Really? Wow, man. Cause I first I you know it looked like it was like a real thing, but then I was like, wait a minute, man, that looked too perfect. And so you must be an actor and something like that. But I did not know it was like a sketch from a YouTube video and stuff. That's crazy, man. But and the sketch was funnier, man. That was, the whole thing was crazy. I did not know, man. That was crazy. If you like my reaction? Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe to Fine Bros if you haven't, and watch the original video. There, I give y'all credit. <laughs> and keep watching Deadpool Party. Subscribe to us if you haven't. Okay? Yeah, we're good too. Just like the Fine Bros. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Peace.